I grew up in a strong Christian home. My whole life, we um, were always, always a part of a church. I grew up Presbyterian, so I was baptized as a baby and sprinkled and blew raspberries on my pastor, even though I don't remember it. Um, my parents always made a priority to go to church on Sundays. I was involved in sports, so I had a soccer game that I traveled for. We went to church first, and then we went to the soccer game. I had a friend spend the night, they were invited to come to church, or their parents had to pick them up before we went to church. My parents instilled in us the value of making church a priority. Obviously going to church doesn't make you a Christian, but um, they set high standards that our family would be different and always make uh, church a priority. My faith for me as a kid was my parents. I didn't really truly have a personal relationship, but I felt like I did because I was with my parents and my parents took me to church. It wasn't until a youth group when I was in middle school that I decided to make that faith my own. Um, I was a strong-willed middle child, and I was one who always saw things black and white, which could be detrimental, or in this case, it was to my benefit. Um, I was learning about heaven and hell, and I knew that I did not want to go to hell. So if I didn't want to go to hell, then what do I need to do to get to heaven? So in middle school, that's when I made that personal decision to choose heaven for the rest of my life because I didn't want to be in hell and decided to um, make my faith my own and not just my parents. I became a believer at summer camp in middle school and ever since have walked with the Lord since then. And um, my youth group was a huge part of my upbringing. My parents sacrificed um, going to a different church in order for us to have a strong youth group. Um, I grew up in a very secular high school, and my youth group and my family was my saving grace. And my parents always had people over to our house. We always hosted events. Um, now that I look back on it, of course, it was their way of keeping tabs on us kids and keeping us out of trouble. But um, it was just a fun Thing to do was hang out at the George's house growing up and that just really provided me an outlet so I didn't have to be in the party scene I didn't have to travel with the wild kids um, being an athlete I had the tendency to want to try things a little bit more than um, my siblings but I always knew in the back of my mind that I didn't want to disappoint my parents and I knew the Holy Spirit was always speaking to me to make the wise choice to stay on the straight and narrow and forever. I'm so forever grateful for that. It prevented a lot of heartache and it prevented a lot of um, bad choices that I didn't make because um, my parents had instilled in us strong values and morals. Uh, I chose to go to a Christian university, Taylor, out in Indiana. That was the first time that my faith was tested to be on my own when I was out of my parents' nest. And I had the opportunity to be surrounded by other believers, and um, we were a different kind of group of college kids. We didn't have sororities and didn't have fraternities, but we had fun. And I enjoyed being involved in Bible studies and small groups and chapel services and going to church on my own without my parents making me. Um, it was an opportunity for me to serve and to grow in my faith and do mission trips. Um, so I really am thankful for those four years where God uh, used me and allowed me to be a leader and um, showed me how we can be a light in this dark world. I'm thankful for my upbringing. I'm thankful for just how God has blessed me and how I feel really fortunate that um, all I've ever known is to uh, be a part of other believers and to have Jesus in my heart. And it's my prayer and desire that my kids will um, choose the same path that I have chosen. It's lonely being different and it's lonely uh, being a follower of Christ, but I see so much of the benefit and so much of the blessing in it too.